in 2022, I got my first ever real job, quote unquote. I got a sales job at a tech company. And it was the first job where I had benefits, health insurance, unlimited, unlimited pay time off, unlimited pay time off. I was able to work fully remote. I didn't have to go into an office. I had all the freedom and flexibility that a freelancer like me, an artist like me could ever dream of. Mind you, for all my life, basically before then, outside of high school, I was freelancing. I was doing photography work, videography work, directing, off jobs, editing jobs. I didn't know where my next check or income was coming from just so I can get basic things like food. So for me to be able to get a job where I have a salary and I get paid bi-weekly every single other week and I'm making more money a year than I ever did in freelance combined for all those years, this was like an inheritance to me at that time. And this is like my first real job, quote unquote. And even though it was sales, I know a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about sales. At the time, it really did change my life. It helped me tremendously. Um, I was able to do vacations. I was able to pour a lot of money into filmmaking and into getting more equipment, into saving, building things for the future for myself, having a cushion to fall on in case things went wrong. Like th it really helped me. I'm super grateful um, that I was able to have this position and start working this sales job. But on the other end of that double-edged sword, I absolutely hated it. I was never creative. I wasn't able to be creative and someone like me, I need to create and make things in order to just feel alive. It's a part of how God made me. That's how I'm wired. That's how my brain's wired. I just, I didn't have that freedom in sales. It was very rigorous. It was very black and white. It was do this, don't do this, call, email, manipulate, coerce, try and psychologically get your way into their brain. It was very, eh, it wasn't, it wasn't me. It's not the way I do things. It's not my character. Uh, I hate intruding into people's day over a cold call. It was just, it wasn't for me. I sought out opportunity in my, in my company to be in marketing, specifically social media marketing. And after I would say like four, five, six months of having conversations with people in the marketing space, talking to the CMO, pitching, pitching, pitching. I ended up getting my dream role, I would say at the company and being given a community manager role. Basically, I would be handling all the social media. So I'll be doing content creation, social strategy, analytics. Um, I'll be posting everything. I would be the face of the company, like literally the face. And it literally like was the dream role. Like I pitched for it. I gunned for it, God gave me it, the door opened miraculously. I got 25,000 more than my regular salary. Like it was, it was, I can't even put it into words. Like it was, um, it was a blessing. It, it, it really did feel like a blessing. And it, it felt like I was climbing up that corporate ladder, you know, just slowly getting up there and going to get on top of corporate America. But then that high, that I had and that success that I had literally just got swept under my feet last week. Um, I log into work on Tuesday, September 24th, and I have a meeting with my CMO and it's literally a seven minute meeting. I hop on, I'm like, hey, she said, hey. She says, hey, I know we just signed you on in July, um, but we have to cut you. And then it went, and then it went to HR, and HR was like, "Yeah, we'll uh, we'll be in contact with you, um, in your personal email." Um, so sorry about this. Take care. I'm like, what? Like, w w just just like that? It's just it's just done. Uh, I'm sitting there like, just dumbfounded. I'm just like, is this happening? Like, did I, is this what being laid off feels like and is? And it's like, all of a sudden, just like a wave of thoughts 
of like, how am I going to pay the bills? What am I going to do with my life now? What job do I even want to get after this? Marketing is so hard to get into. It's grueling to get a sale. It's grueling to get any job in this market right now. People are waiting months. It's like, what, what am I going to do? I'm like, what now? Like, where do I go? What do I want to do? What am I passionate about? How am I going to make the same money I'm making to be able to maintain this lifestyle that me and my wife love? I don't know. But even though I had these very daunting and scary questions that I know a lot of people have faced, I would say after the second day of being unemployed, there was just such a peace and a rest that came over me, assuring me that everything's going to be fine. And funny story, on the call where I got laid off, the CMO, they said, hey, I'm not religious or anything, but when I got laid off, my manager told me when God closes a door, he opens a window. And I'm sitting there like, huh, okay. For me, I'm taking it as assurance from God that, hey, even though this might seem and look very drastic and like things are about to go haywire and your life's about to be chaos because you have no more stability, no more income. I got you. I took it as the Lord saying, I got you. Just seek and you'll be fine. And so with this presence of rest and peace that I have, the only thing that I know that I can do after just being laid off is pray. Like what, what else can I do? And so I pray, very honest prayer. And it's a prayer that I've been praying for many months, even years. And it's regarding YouTube. It's regarding content creation. It's regarding film. It's regarding me wanting to be a director, not wanting to live a life of just being enslaved to corporate America, working just for dollars, 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 but working for purpose, working for the glory of God, working for the betterment of other people. And my prayer was very simple. I don't remember word for word what it went like, but I know that I mentioned, God, if you have given me an open door to be able to start building something from scratch and being fully creative and exercising all my passions, all the gifts you've given me to serve people, please show me what that looks like in this season. And that was my prayer. And I prayed that on September 30th. September 30th. I want to show you something. On September 30th, the morning I was praying that I go on Facebook. I don't like, I don't really go on Facebook, but I go on Facebook and you know, the, 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 your memories on Facebook portion, I get a notification. And on September 30th, 2010, 14 years ago, after I prayed about YouTube and wanting to do it, but I don't know how to do it or what to do it about. I look at a post that I posted on September 30th, 2010. And I said, I'm thinking about making a production YouTube channel. And I'm sitting in bed like, God, what are you saying? You can't, you can't make this stuff up. I put the phone down and I was like, okay, God, if this is you speaking to me, if this is you speaking to me about making a YouTube channel, I trust you, but I need help guide me and show me how you want me to do it, what you want me to talk about, what you've placed inside me that I can help other people with, what I'm really passionate about. And so I do an exercise. You've probably heard of Ikagi. I think it's called Ikagi. I put all of my things that I'm good at, that I love doing, that I can get paid for, and me knowing what the world needs. I put it all into a sheet, okay? I put it all into a sheet. I take all the things that are in my heart and my thoughts over the years in prayer, um, I just put it all into the sheet and then I put it into the diagram. This is the diagram. Um, I'll put a link in the description as to like this, so you can get this and do this yourself, but it's a wonderful exercise. And you put all those things from the previous sheet into this diagram, what you're good at, what you love doing, what the world needs, what you could get paid to do, what you're good at and what you love doing is your passion. What you love doing and what the world needs is your mission, What you could get paid to do and what the world needs is your vocation. And what you can get paid to do, what you're good at, 
is your profession. Once you get those, you take those four and whatever the common denominators are, you put it into your purpose. I'm not saying this is my overall purpose, but taking what was in my heart, what was in my mind, what was in my thoughts, what has been lingering for so long and what I've been praying about for so long came out with this. My purpose is teaching the word of God, analyzing cinema from a spiritual worldview, making films and videos that glorify him and point people to him, discipling artists to walk and create and make art with intention, searching for God in all film and in all art, and simply to create. Those are my purposes. I love this. I love where this is going, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, how do I apply this to YouTube? What does this look like for YouTube for me? And I just put everything down into a little post-it note. I do a lot of writing, as you can tell. I think writing is very important. I put all those things into a post-it note. And I said, I want my channel to have movie reviews, spiritual breakdowns of films, personal cinematic talks and vlogs, Bible studies, short films, cinematic interviews, and how-tos about how to be creative and really utilize and gift and use your art and your creativity for God in co-laborship with God for the glory of God. This is what this channel is going to be about. That, what it, those things, that is going to be about that. And so really just what I want for this space is to really have it be a community for creative people, a community for creative people that are seeking something more in this life, seeking purpose in their art, seeking God in all things. I love to find God in everything, even in movies. And I, I think blending what I really love with my first love, Jesus, and putting those two together, I believe it can really help people. So many people are going in today's world, watching movies and coming out and their conversations are, oh yeah, the cinematography was cool, yeah. Um, that action scene was so fire, yeah. But there's nothing, it's just nothing deeper than that. I want for us to be going deeper into the things that are artistic. I want us to go deeper into film. I want us to go deeper into the theologies, the worldviews, why they think the way they think, why directors direct the way they direct, how you can see the Bible come to life in every single film on the evil side and the good side. I want you to see Christ type figures. I want you to see what the devil is doing in movies. I want you to be able to have both sides that you can have the tool set to be able to have very deep, rich, thought provoking conversations about movies, about cinema with other people as a bridge to really showcase the gospel. Another thing I want to do, I really want to disciple creative Christians. Um, I think there's a lack of creative discipleship in the body of Christ. And I don't know why, but I see a need, I want to supply that need. And if the need is myself, I'm a Romans 12 one that and offer myself as a living sacrifice to help you guys be the best that you can be in Christ as an artist and to really have your art, not just be made for art's sake, but your art to be made for God's sake so that his spirit is on it and his power is radiating through your art so that if someone hears it, watches it, reads it, there's change, there's conviction, there's something different. You, you, everyone knows that something different aspect when people see different artists and art. I want that for you, but I want the something different to be God on it and not yourself on it. And so, and at the end of the end, and the third thing, I just want this to be a community. I want us to be able to learn from each other, help each other, grow with each other. I just, that's, that's just all I want. I just want to help. I just want to be here to help. That is the foundation. That is the groundwork. And this is what this video is all about is simply telling you guys, this is what God is doing with me. And this is what I'm doing with this channel. And I'm hoping that God is in it. Um, I, I believe that he is. Be blessed, guys. Thank you for tuning in. It is like 100 degrees in this house. And I'm about to turn on the AC. Oh my gosh. It is hot. How do you feel? I feel great. And camera cut.